So I have a lightning talk about hashing. Not stud hash. <laughs> Thanks, Titus. <laughs> Did you ever use OpenSSL? Please raise your hand. Did you like it? <laughs> yes. So if you want to hash, oh, SHA 256, you need to initialize it because it's C like interface. Let's Make it a little bit easier with Lambda, which takes string view, and it will update it accordingly. And then you provide first word into hash, then other word, hello there. And then you have an array for capacity or for the hash, and then you fill it. It needs to be right size, otherwise you have a problem. And then you have magical function. You need to convert to hexadecimal and print it and it will print something like this. I think everyone who used OpenSSL did something like this. And you probably drop it into your own type or try to make it a little bit better. But OpenSSL tree make this interface deprecated and you need to allocate for calculating hashes. Allocated for hashes. So you have these three functions and they are Deprecated. It's terrible. New interface is better. You need to allocate. This function will allocate any uh, like a message digest uh, function. You need to check if it's not null pointer because it can fail. You initialize SHA256. You need to check for the return code. In this case, it must be one. And you update it with your message. Again, check for the result code. You look at the size of the hash itself. You need to allocate output for digest. Check if, it's not, if it didn't fail. And then finalize it into it, check again. And it's just a mathematical operation which shouldn't need any allocation and it shouldn't fail. And then you need to free it. Is it better? Nope. I want something like this. SHA256, initialize it, it's just a type. I update it, I update it, I finalize it, I will get the hash. And I can just print it with IO stream or stud format. So I will wrap OpenSSL into it and I'm done. And it will print this, but it cannot be consexper. <laughs> but if you use this library, you, it can be. It's a small library I did because I wanted to learn how hashes are working, so I wrote it. It's called CTHash. Guess what it means. So how do you use it? You include it. It's one header only file library. You calculate this function. Uh, you have string view and uh, return type SHA256 value, which is just wrapper over array. You can convert it into array easily, but it's like type safe type, which gives you information. It's SH256 hash. And interface is obvious. You have multiple hashes, like you have uh, type the hasher, you have the hash value, and they are all like just typed uh, interfaces. There are more hashes, not just this. So tagged hash value is just hash value of certain size. So you, if you don't care about function of hash, only about size, you can just convert it into lower type, which is like superset of all hashes of specific size. Or you can just take array of bytes or span of bytes out of it. Okay, and you can use the result types. You can just initialize them directly or with literal, yeah, I need a little bit wider screen and no one can provide. Yeah, you need using namespace CT hash literals for that. You can compare them, you can order them because they are just values. 
you can convert them into string as x decimal or as base64. Or you can print them with std format or std print, and you can specify encoding if you want. Binary. You can use IO stream for the output. Or you can pipe it into base 63 encode or any other function which is there to encode it for you to specific encoding and it's lazily done. So it doesn't do the encoding until you need it. So you can do like any uh, other range operation over on it. SH2 family is supported, SH3 family, also XX hash, because I need it for some project. And a few more things. You can take string and you can just pipe it into base 64 euro encode and you will get this. Or you can take vector and pipe it into hexadecimal encode if it's byte-like type and just get chars out of it lazily. Or you can take shake128 uh, function, which is uh, SHA3 family hash, and provide some input and finalize it and get only eight bytes if you care only about eight bytes if you need just short uh, hash. Or you can ask for 1024 by bits and it's not finished yet, but you can actually use it as a, uh, as a random number generator based on that hash function. Because it's infinite, it can give you infinite long stream of uh, hash value. And that's all, thank you.